Hello everybody, have a really cool little knife on the table for you today. And this one I did want to share with the community because I'm actually really happy with this little knife. So this right here is a Case Sodbuster Jr. And so the Sodbuster Jr. is a very common knife you can purchase. This particular one though, I bought customized. So this Sodbuster Jr. here, it began its life as a regular old, what are they? The American Workman Red Synthetic smooth sod buster. So just with the regular case box, nothing's fancy about it. Um, but I picked this one up from God Shall Knives. And so this gentleman, he actually will take these stock case knives and bust them apart and then rehandle them or recover them. And so what we see here are some custom my canvas micarta scales. So it has that nice brown color. And so what I like about this is because I love the Sodbuster Jr. pattern. It's very small and easy to pocket and easy to carry around with you. Um, but I wanted something, you know, a little unique, of course. But I also already had a Sodbuster and um, I wanted to have something more convenient to carry. So what we can see here, this is the Sodbuster Jr. I have in my Carta. I already did have one, and it's this really nice Halloween version. And of course, I am not at all against rocking my Halloween knife every day of the year. Uh, but the downside to that was is the finish starts to get some wear and tear on it, and you lose the details on the um, drawing here. Um, same thing with the etch on the blade starting to kind of chip off. Not chip off, I don't know the right word, just wearing off and not as bright as it once was. And so um, I didn't want to cause any really permanent damage to this knife, so I wanted something a little bit more unique that I could carry every day. Still small, still lightweight, and so this one right here is the answer. So Godshall Knives, I found them on Instagram. Um, they recommended it in the recommended section, so I kind of uh, got lucky there. But he included this certificate when I bought it from him. So it's a Case Sodbuster Jr., Natural Canvas Micarta, Red G10 liners, and then the pins. Um, with the, the stainless steel and you know nickel silver so very happy with what I got here you can see the red g10 liners I just love the smooth finish on this micarta and uh, if you go to his Instagram I'll link it below but if you go there you're gonna see a lot of his work he works a lot with these case knives he works with uh, the Victorinox Swiss Army knives um, just giving them new handles a new life, you know, and that's one of the neat things about being in the knife hobby. You know, anyone can pick up a Sodbuster Jr. or anyone can pick up a Swiss Army knife. Uh, but if you want it to be truly yours, you know, it's, it's nice to have something custom. Nice to have something one of a kind that you, there might not be anything else like it out there. And uh, so it's kind of a nice functional piece of artwork here. So really happy with what I got. Pretty reasonable. He charges almost nothing for his labor. Um, so that's pretty, pretty nice to see, but I just love it. And so of course the knife itself, it's a Sodbuster Jr. just like you would expect. And so all of the fit and finish that case provides is what you're going to get as well. And case doesn't always have the best factory finishing. Um, but for my purposes, just wanting a usable everyday carry knife, I don't need the fanciest blade steel. I don't need any of that stuff. I just want something that looks unique and uh, is a nice little conversation starter. You know, something nice to look at and it's just small and lightweight. So we can just compare the weight here. Um, it's pretty comparable to the plastic handled version. So yeah, 1.3 ounces for the natural canvas micarta handles. Um, Sodbuster Jr. Blade, uh, the synthetic version here with the Halloween theme, a little bit heavier, a little over two ounces, 2.1 ounces, and again, they're the same knife. So see them side by side. You can compare the thickness though, because those synthetic handles tend to be a bit beefier. And again, nothing wrong with that, just a slight difference there. So you can see the blade markings are essentially the same brass liners instead of G10. And again, the, the pattern is what I really like. You know, it's not too small, it's not huge, it doesn't take up a lot of pocket space. Um, if you have a nice little leather slip, it'll fit in there just fine. And it's, you know, always just a reliable blade. So I just wanted to share this with everybody, nice quick video. Hope you enjoyed watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.